first control chart that makes use of a fixed sampling is called the X-bar chart and we're going to actually take the average of many observations to build the sample and plot it against the other value. All the data are taken in chronological order and the sampling could be done as the sample are getting in or we can have a fixed sample in time so choose to sample every minute or so and wait for an hour or just get any new value that come into the system as a pi value. A few observations about this specific chart. First, because we need at least two observations to build an average, that's the minimum number of observations you need to build the sample. And you can go from 2 to 200, which is a maximum size recommended for this specific chart. Essentially, this card is going to enable the user to detect variation on the trend, on the average level. So if you want to look for tendency, upward, downward movement on the process, you would use an X-bar. It wouldn't tell you much about the spread and the variability of the process because you're looking at the evolution of the average over a period of time. It can also be used to monitor cyclic process. In such a case, you will make sure that the number of value per sample is going to match the number of value you got for a cycle. So for every cycle you're going to actually take the average of the data of this specific cycle and compare it to the next. The main drawback of using a X-bar chart is it that you have to wait for your given number of sample to be available and completed to see the new value being plotted into the trend. 